Hey guys, my day on March 8th, so once again, my daily vlogger throughout my day, and I've been up since 11, actually, I think, and, uh, yeah, I just basically cleaned the counters, did the dishes, because I no longer have cats to look after anymore, and I made myself breakfast, which is a vegan tofu scrambled eggs and the uh, dipping sauce. <laughs> So again, this is a tofu scramble. I make this a lot on my channel. This is my favorite uh, one because a lot of vegan tofu recipes call for cashews and stuff like that, and I don't use cashews. So I like this because it's natural yeast. <laughs> And with the tofu, you just use soft tofu, you scramble it up, and add the uh, mixture into it. And so, yeah, like I was saying yesterday, I have to go out today. So, I got all the pop bottles together. I have like a bag and a half. But I'm going to bring them in anyways. And then from there I'm going to go get my smokes. Because I'm on my last pack. On my top. And then probably go to No Frills. On the way home. Go to the library. Um, probably go up to Fraser as well. Because that's where now Wolf is. <laughs> my DVDs are on pickups. So I'm going to return the ones that I have. And then get the other ones, and then, yeah, lots of running around to do. <laughs> and I'll probably bring the salad with me to eat. Um, and I'm going to try to bring out these, a few CDs to use on the computer, see if I can transfer them my files the only problem though like I said from Fraser from downtown to Fraser it takes about 45 minutes to an hour by bus from my place to downtown it takes about an hour to 45 minutes <laughs> so but first I gotta return the pop bottles and then I'm gonna take a sh but first I'm gonna take a shower and get dressed and then head out it's not really so much about getting money from the pop bottles it's more of bringing it in because it's taking up so much space so when I finally work on the office room it'll be better mm-hmm <laughs> I wanted to make um, pan fried buns this morning, but it takes two hours just for it to rise. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to wait <laughs> two hours because I can't live without smokes. So I'm very thankful that I have the tab because otherwise I'd be screwed. <laughs> But I always pay them back first. And I've been craving tofu scramble. I don't know why. But I usually um, make roasted veggies to add to the tofu scramble, which I still have to do. But I don't have the time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm 
And I started talking to my exes family again. Just to let them know about speckles. I'm not talking to my exes. So they're kind of sad, but they know he was old. They said it was the best thing for him. It's a tough blue scramble. So I'm glad that they know now. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I've just been smoking and doing the dishes. And, oh, I'm tired, but I gotta go get out. Go out. I could sleep on the bus. <laughs> I've even been emptying out the bottles that are only like half empty. So I have to return those bottles. <laughs> and I still don't have a lot, but that's okay. Now I got more space in the fridge. Juice in here. <laughs> and the bottle of pop that I didn't like, I just dumped out. So I can recycle that because I'm like, I'm not going to save that. So, yeah, and I got to return the pop bottles, which isn't too bad. It's just carrying them up the hill. That's the hard part. And then getting them on the bus, and then once I'm on the bus, it's fine. But so I have to get more pop. <laughs> more pop. And then, like I said, I have like five dollars on me. So then, if I get like five bucks or like even three dollars, that's still better than nothing. So then I could get stuff. My lighter died again. <laughs> so I've been using the lighter that I use for my candle to light my smokes. I'm like, oh, it's so annoying. But I am trying to save my power for my phone so I could contact the people that I get smokes from. Because I prefer them knowing that uh, I'm going to be boring with smokes. <laughs> I call it blur because I'm paying them back, so, but I always pay them first. And then, yeah, so my kitchen was a disaster, but now it's not too bad. Don't worry, I'll be cleaning it again. <laughs> so, I mean, other than the pop. That's their dishes. I always do the dishes first thing in the morning. And now that I don't have that dish rack here, I have more space. Actually, I'll put the pop in the fridge. And another thing I want to make is tempura vegan. Because I've made it before, but you have to use sparkling water. So I've had sparkling water sitting in the fridge because I don't like sparkling water. But yeah, so now because I don't have that dish rack here anymore, I have the whole counter space always clean. So that's where I do the prep work. And then the dishes are on that side. I also took the cardboard off. So there's a cardboard down below that used to go there where the hole is. Because the cats used to always try to get in there. <laughs> but, like I said, I don't have any cats anymore, so I don't have to worry about it. So I finally took that off. But it's pretty dirty and gross. Like I said, all these cupboards down below, there's like, not really any space. Well, I guess there is. It's just like, really, really dirty. As you can see, so I don't bother using it. It's just all blocked off. So, I just use the top cupboards. Like I said, it's just me, so I don't really need that many dishes. 
I mean, technically, I guess I could put the spot down below, but I just have it on the floor now. On the side. I used to put it up on the counter, but I'm constantly cleaning the counter. Oh, I guess I could put it up on top of the fridge. Because I don't use the Instant Pot as often as I used to. So that's what I'll do. Because... I used to have the cat bowls up here, but now I don't have my cats, so now I got a little more space. Let's see, should I put this up top or should I put it on the counter? <laughs> I guess I'll put it up top. I don't use it that often. I think the instant pot up top is better. Oh, stupid spam stuff. I don't know why they keep calling me. It's a likely spam. It's so annoying. <laughs> so yeah, the instant pot is up off the ground. So now, when I clean, um, I also have a coffee maker in that cupboard, which I don't use. But I'm like, when I have games night, some people might want it. And then I have a crock pot up there for my cat sitter, which I don't have anymore, but I'll still keep it anyways because, who knows, maybe one day I'll get a cat. I just don't really want one anytime soon. So, like I said, it's still very hard for me to see cats without feeling sad. It just reminds me of what I lost, so, yeah. Even though, I guess, sometimes I am a lot more lonely than I was before without them, it's still, people, I know some people just get pets right away, and I'm like, yeah, I can't do that. It just reminds me of what I lost. For some people, I guess it doesn't, it helps them get over it, but not me, because that's one reason why I haven't been spending time with family, because they have a kid, <laughs> and I feel kind of... I feel kind of weird around the cat because, like I said, it makes me feel sad of what I lost, even though I love the cat, but there we go. Yeah, I'll never talk to my ex ever again, and I know if I told him about what happened to Speckles, it would literally destroy him. But I'm not going to bother doing that, because then I have to talk to him, and I want nothing to do with him. So, it's better just to leave it. I just told his family, if his family wants to let him know they can, but I'm not. Now there's no reason for us to be in contact ever again, and I haven't talked to him in over a year, almost. So... Life has been good, so there's one pop bottle, <laughs> and another pop bottle, so I'm going to be carrying that one, and then this one, they're not that heavy, so, two pop bottles, I'm still trying to sell the cat litter, so that litter I got, didn't even use it all. <laughs> I guess I'll try selling it for ten, five bucks. <laughs> and then, yeah, so I put the stuff back in the washroom, but I did clean it last night. So, toilet's clean. Uh, this is clean. I'm still going to keep that sign up. Even though my cats are not here. <laughs> but I think I'll just say, please close it after use. And then I'll just get rid of everything. Or I'm, I might make a new sign. Because when you guys flush the toilet. And you leave it open. All the germs come up. And they go into your toothbrush. Your towels. Everywhere. So it's gross and disgusting. So I always tell people. 
You're using my washroom. Close it down the toilet. <laughs> And then, yeah, so the, I moved the scratching post that they always use, the small one anyways, right there, until I could sell it, so, because it's both speckles, Josephine and Hope, they all loved it. And I did my little thing this morning as well, where I read the poem and like the candles and the incense, and I really want to do the... Cut out piece for um, the donations for the SBCA to like keep a tally of how much I'm donating and people are donating. But I gotta take a shower and get ready to go out. So I'll do that later tonight. And oh yeah, because tomorrow is a family Christmas thing. I only have a gift for my mom, so now I'm like, well, I'll just separate the gift. I'll turn the light on. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I did this for my mom and her boyfriend, but now I'm just going to separate it so I don't have to carry this big, huge thing. And then put it in, and then everybody kind of gets something. Because it was all stuff that I got from the Christmas pantry that I can't have. Because I'm not using. So I'm just going to give one to my brother, give one to my sister, give one to my mom. And they're kind of already wrapped, so... <clears throat> I don't remember what's what, though. <laughs> but I could give this to my mom and Brian. And then I can give one to my sister and her family, and the one to my brother and his family, because they actually give me 40 bucks. <clears throat> a while back, when I told them all about my cats, and it was gone like that. So yeah, maybe I'll open it just to see if it wasn't it again. So I would have to rewrap it. <laughs> so this was, what was this? Oh yeah, these were the candy treats. So everybody loves chocolates. And then these super things. <clears throat> so we wrap them again. But yeah, so one's gonna go to my sister's family and one's gonna go to my brother's family. And then my mom and Brian get the toffee. These should still be good. I got it Christmas this year. It was past year. And this one was same thing. Oh, this one's turtle, so oh they're both turtle. Oh I guess I'm rewrapping. <laughs> rewrapping here. Ah. Drop the turtle. I can't remember what was in it. So yeah. And that way I got something for everybody. Well, not everyone, because a bunch, there's like 20 people in my family coming, so there's no way I'm going to ask them if I could record for YouTube. So yeah, there's like chocolates. I guess I didn't have to open it. <laughs> oh, I'll leave it like this. And then later when I get back, I will <clears throat> wrap them again. So one for my sister's family, and one for my brother's family. And I know my sister and then like turtles, so they'll get more turtles. I don't think I'll really care for the apple jerk, so I'll give this one to my brother. So there you go. Then I don't have to carry this thing around. <laughs> oh, and I'm also giving my mom this lion scarf. Because she loves lions. So I'm going to be rewrapping Christmas gifts. <laughs> the taffy. So that'll be later, probably tonight. You guys want to 
<laughs> Wrap gifts with me. I like all the some of these chocolates have like alcohol in it too, so it's like <laughs> kind of funny that it's in a church hamper. So yeah, so now I got gifts for everyone, all the adults, the kids. I don't have anything, but I gave their bracelet to one of the kids yesterday because I had a green bracelet and she also took the shirt with the butterflies so he does watch me daily when I was decluttering, so yeah. And now, I could actually leave a mask and not worry about the patch I'm going to get into it. <laughs> That's what I keep saying, that's one of the nicest things, like, I'm not having, having the door open, I'm not worrying about them getting out. I'm not as stressed out as I usually am, so I'm always worrying about the cats, and like I said, it'd be harder to watch them suffer and go through all that treatment and all that, and even... My ex's family agreed to. It was the best thing for speckles because he was old. He was 16, so he shared that from them as well. Especially since they know everything that speckles has been through. And bringing him from Victoria to Vancouver was already enough, more than enough that he's been through. And then him adjusting to life with two more cats <laughs> when he's used to being alone, and then with me and then my ex sketching us and yeah it's it would have been way too much for speckles so but it's nice to hear that from somebody who knows the cat so yeah we're not really we're not really friends friends with the family but we'll still keep in contact and like, when I go to Victoria, I might meet up with them again, but not my ex at all. Never, and as soon as they start talking about my ex, then that's when we stop talking. That's why we stopped talking for a while. Because I told them I can't handle hearing about my ex when he put me through hell. And I don't want to know what he's going on and how good his life is right now, because my life isn't good. It should be the other way around. But... At least I had speckles, so yeah. Anyways, my place is coming along, and I gotta get ready to uh, get out of the house before it gets too late because the port's only open till four. Like I said, I'm just gonna take a quick shower and still hub sleeping that's why i go i can't believe that before i used to sleep 24 hours a day or like at least 14 15 hours a day and now it's like i can only sleep maybe 10 hours <laughs> tops because i don't have my cats anymore to keep me company but i am sleeping with uh freddy and hope is on the bed as you can see <laughs> there's freddy and hope they're my pets they're my pets. <sighs> but yeah, I don't even have the alarm on anymore, and I still get up early. I was like, oh, I'm not going to get up till 1 o'clock. Nope. <laughs> I also don't have my phone on anymore. Because it's not really working, so it's kind of nice in a way. Not having, not getting text messages or notifications. There we go. <laughs> That's what I wake up to now. A serial killer <laughs> and a cat. <laughs> but you guys know I don't like Freddy for the murders. I like Freddy because he's deformed and felt like an outcast. So... I think a lot of people feel that way, and because it was Robert England. If Robert England didn't play Freddy, I probably wouldn't be as interested in Freddy Krueger, so. But, 
That's why I don't record myself waking up anymore. Because I'm like, I'm just waking up to stuffed animals. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. I'm 33 years old and I still have stuffed animals. This is the only cat that I had. And Freddy. And then I have all these stuffed animals on the sofa. <laughs> all ponies, minions, Arthur, super dogs, that's a super dog. The raccoon is from Tuts. I don't know if you guys can see it. This is from Peter and Stars. So I keep that. And this I had since I was a kid. I even wrote copper on it from what is it called now? The Fox and the Hound. Copper. And the unicorns. And Tully Tubbies. <laughs> so yeah, all my stuffed animals. It is really weird because I was actually dreaming about Andrew Lawrence last night. <laughs> it's just weird. I love Andrew Lawrence, so. I was dreaming about them. Joey Lawrence and Matthew Lawrence. Um, Andrew Lawrence. And Andrew was trying to hide me from everybody. <laughs> It's kind of funny. It was a weird, weird, messed up dream. Not like I'd ever have a chance with Andrew Lawrence, but I still like Andrew Lawrence. And Joey Lawrence. I grew up with uh, Joey and Matthew, or probably like more my age. Like I said, uh, and Andrew Lawrence, Andy, was... He was like in his 30s, so he's like 10 years younger than me, I think. But people thought it was weird that I... I had a crush on him when he was a kid. I'm like, but I was a kid too, so. I mean, I wasn't a kid kid, but I was still, like, young. So, yeah, it's kind of funny. But, yeah, so, like I said, I gotta get ready. Because I don't want to uh, go too late to the depot. And then I gotta go town, town. Oh, I gotta grab my DVDs while we're here. Ugh. Bring back Neural Wolf. Because I'm going to get the complete first season. Uh, it's No, the second season is on hold for me. Or the, And I watched four episodes of Ready or Not last night. Oops. That was literally my high school. Except for the, even then they don't show the abuse part. There you go, Nero Wolf. I gotta return these and then get the complete season. But they only have... It's funny, they only had the complete season to the first. <laughs> I mean, the second season, but they don't have the first season, and then they have the volumes. So, I mean, that's kind of weird. Oh, see, I always check, make sure that I have it. So, it's probably in my stack here. Yeah. I put my all, all my DVDs in a stack. So it's easier to, like, get, but I know it doesn't, what do you call it, make, uh, the last song, but that's how I do it. Here we go, and there we'll, I'm gonna be returning this to the library, and Nightmare on Elm Street, so I have everything out, so then that way I could, oh well, yeah, Larry and Willie, I found the CD case, Two and a Half Men, even though I've, not watching it, I still have it out in the Borden. So then that way if I want to watch it, I don't have to go grab the DVD <laughs> and Blossom. <laughs> it's already out. I need to watch uh, Lizzie Borden again and still do a review on that show. Because there really isn't that many. 
And the ones that are, they don't, they never say, oh, the case was never solved. Because Lizzie Borden was never fully charged. But just like everybody else in society now, it doesn't matter. If you're found guilty, you're found guilty. It doesn't matter about proving innocence. Anyways, like I said, I gotta get ready to go, take a shower, and I will talk to you guys when I'm out here on Phantom Stories. I'll let you guys know how much money I get from the bottle people.